Hello, my name is Mary Holland, and I'm here to give you some directions on how to make the Lotus Ornament Book. It's a kit that will be provided by the North Sub Suburban Center for the Arts. In that kit, you will have some things that are provided, but these are the things that are not provided. And you'll want these to make sure that you don't damage your table that you're working on. First, you'll need some kind of plastic or covering for your table, an old placemat or a piece of plastic like I have. Next, you'll need something to glue on. I have freezer paper, but you can use an old magazine also. Then you'll also want to have some baby wipes to wipe your fingers off when they get full of glue. These are the things that are going to be provided in the kit. You'll get a glue stick, a craft stick, three pieces of paper, two pieces of cardstock. There are uh, two colors. One side is red and one side is white. That's important. Two pieces of marbled paper that's been provided by the Minnesota uh, Marbling Forum. A ribbon and two pony beads and I'm sure they're very tiny and not easy to see. So let's get started with making a page and the first page of our book. I've already prepared one so that you can see what it would look like when you're finished. We're going to take a six inch square and make it into a three inch square by folding it. So this is what the fi final page will look like and it opens up to look like a lotus flower when we're finished. So let's get started with the first page. We'll take our paper and we'll start at the bottom that on the side that's facing you and we'll fold it up to the side that's facing away from us. Make sure your edges are even and your corners are straight. And when it is, take your craft stick and crease it on the fold. So rub your stick along the fold so that it makes a sharp crease. Open up your paper and turn it one quarter turn to your left. Again, fold your paper from the bottom, as I did this wrong way, from the bottom to the top. Again, when the edges are straight, crease it with your stick. Open up your paper. Turn it so that it looks like a diamond. Take the bottom point of the diamond and fold it up to, oops, I did that upside down. Um, turn your paper over and then fold it up from one point to the top point, from the bottom to the top. and make sure all the edges are straight. It looks like I have two sides that are straight, but one side that's uneven. I'll take my scissors and I'll carefully trim off the little piece of paper that's not quite straight. So now I have a triangle going to open my triangle and I'm going to take my finger in the middle of the paper and push it up. It is now bent and squashy. It's called a squash fold in origami terms. I'm going to squash the center pieces together, squash the center pieces on the other side, and I've now made a three inch square out of a six inch square. I have two pages left. The last page I'm going to fold without any speaking so you can just watch.
third page is finished. Now comes the messy part, which is fun. I'm going to take a little piece of my freezer paper. Uh, here we go, here's my little pieces over here. And I'm going to take my page, which has got a point that doesn't have, it's folded, it's a closed point. It doesn't open up if I try to pull it apart. And then the other end is the open point of the page. We're gonna have the closed point at the top facing away from us. I'm going to take a piece of my freezer paper and just set it inside the top of that page. My glue stick, and I'm going to glue around the edges of my book a page. And I'm going to give it some, some serious glue because I want it to stick to my next page. Here is my second page, and at the top closed point, I'm going to attach my page to the closed point at the top of the first page. And I'll slide it around to make sure that all the edges are straight and even. And again, I'm gonna make sure that I don't have any glue on any of the edges or my book will not open. Now in the center where our book, book pages are glued, you can see that they're not sticking together very well. So I'm gonna take my fingers and really make sure that those pages are stuck together. And you can see half of our Lotus book, or two thirds of our Lotus book is finished. We'll do the same thing with the third page. Again, I'm gonna take a fresh piece of freezer paper, set it inside the top page of the book. Take my glue stick and rub glue around the top and all over the page. My third page, closed point at the top away from me and I'm going to take the closed points and put them together. Open up that, oops, I see it didn't stick very well. So I'll do my closed points together again, making sure that the edges are all stuck together well. I will remove that glue piece and open up my book to make sure that the pages are stuck together. And you can see they're crooked so I can straighten that out, pressing the glue so that all my pages stick together well. And I wanna make sure that there's no glue on the outside of the pages or it won't open. Okay, here we go. So here is our Lotus Book pages, all stuck together, all three of them. It will look like this when it's opened. And this is what the book pages will look like when they're finished. Now I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry and we'll go to part two. Okay, in part two, we're gonna to start to make a cover for our book. So we'll be taking our two cardstock pieces and our two marble paper pieces and putting the uh, cardstock on top of the marble paper. The marble paper is slightly bigger than the cardstock, and there's a reason for that, and you'll see in just a moment. So I'm going to start with my glue and my cardstock, and I'm going to cover the side that's white with glue. Oh, give it, make sure you have lots of glue on it. So you want that to stick on your paper. Next, I'm going to take my marbled paper, but I'm going to take the pretty side and I'm going to put it down so that I can't see it. And I'm going to take my glued side that's on the white side and I'm going to set it right in the center of the marbled piece of paper. And I'm going to make sure that I rub it down. I'm even going to take my stick and I'm going to gently slide my stick across the paper and the cardstock. And I will show you how it looks like this. So you can see there's a little edge around the back and the cardstock is in the center of the marble paper. And this is the front side. I'm also going to take my fingers and just rub them over the paper to make sure that it's really stuck on well. 
And then I'm going to do the same thing with the second cover. Again, we're going to glue over the white side of the cardstock. Take that and put it in the center of our marble paper as best as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to make sure that there's some of the paper showing all the way around. And I can see this one's slightly crooked, so I'll adjust it a little bit. And I'll rub it down with my hand and with my stick. Turn it over and do the same thing. So now I have the cover partly prepared and I'm going to take the uh, one of my baby wipes and wipe off my surface and wipe off my fingers because I have a little bit of glue now on my fingers and on the surface and I don't want that to get on the cover, front cover of the book. So this is the tricky part. With your scissors, you're going to snip off just a tiny bit of the corner of each side of the paper. So you're just going to cut off a little corner on each side of the paper. All right, so your paper should look like this. The book, back of your book cover. Front will look like this. And now this is the tricky part. With your stick, you're going to take and rub your stick next to the red side of the cardstock, all the way across. We're gonna make what is called a score line. And we're just going to score a line next to the book cover, which will make it easier for us to fold. So you do it on all four sides of your book. You won't be able to see it from where you are looking at the um, picture of it but on the inside you can kind of see it. And you're going to fold each edge of the book down and then take, open it up. So fold it down, open it up. Fold it down, open it up. And the last side, fold it down, open it up. This will help us when we make the book cover, um, uh, book, the book cardstock covered with the paper and folding the paper over. We're going to take our glue stick and we'll start, I'll start on the side so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And here's where it gets messy, so let's get some paper. And we'll take our glue stick and just glue um, partly on the red piece, partly on, and all the way on the gold piece, corners and edges. Next step. This is the tricky part. You're going to take this corner where it's been snipped off and push it up so that it hits the corner of the red cardstock. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Lift the corner up and push it next to the red cardstock. So your first step looks like this. Then you're going to take the middle part that you folded and you're going to push that up so it is pressed down and make sure there's no um, paper that's uneven along the edge of your folder, of your uh, book cover. And it will look like this. Next thing you're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to clean my fingers off and flip this over. And we're going to run some glue on the side and a little bit on the red cardstock. Take the corner and fold it up and over the point of the corner on your book cover. Same thing on this side, fold it up. It'll look like this. Take the middle section and fold it down so that it will be flat against edge. And I see this part didn't stay where it was supposed to be. So we'll do that again. Fold the corner down. Make sure it's sticking. Fold this down. I'm going to take my stick and do some creasing on top. So we have two sides of our book.
cover ready to go. We'll get some fresh paper. And all we're gonna do next, I'll wipe off my fingers. We're going to do the same thing next on the last two sides. But this side is easy because you don't have to fold any corners. They're already folded on. So all you do is put some glue on the end, fold your paper up, make sure it sticks well, and use your stick to help push it down onto the cover. And you'll do the same thing on the last side, almost finished. Flip this over, glue, and flip the bottom middle section up. Rub it down with your stick. And I'm going to take a fresh piece of paper and turn my cover upside down. Rub the stick across the bottom. Rub the stick carefully across the top and all sides. So here's what your first finished book cover looks like. I'm going to do the next cover with no stocking just so you can see how it works. And we have our two book covers finished. Part three. 
part three, doing our book finishing process. We'll start with our book pages, our covers, our ribbon, and our pony beads. And the first thing we're going to do is take our ribbon and fold it in half. Use your stick and just crease the place where it's folded together. So you get a little crease line in the ribbon because that will tell you where the center is when we put it onto our book. Next thing you're going to do is take a glue sheet and set it inside the top page of your book. And you're going to rub glue all over this page like we did earlier. And we're going to take our ribbon where it's folded in half and at that closed point at the top of your book, we're going to put the ribbon across the glue so that it's stuck on to the book like so. We'll take um, a little more glue over that ribbon and take one of our book covers and place it on top of the ribbon and the book page. So it will look like this. Now you want to make sure that none of the page, white part of your page, is sticking out beyond the book cover so that it would fill, you won't see the book cover with your page, like so. This page is here, and your book cover is covering one, one of the squares. Now you're gonna to wanna to take your um, fold, your, your stick, and rub it over the place where your paper, ribbon and your paper and your book cover are all on so that it sticks onto your book. So your first book part of your book cover is finished. Take your ribbon and your glue stick and again put another um, piece of glue paper inside the book cover or the book page and again glue all around. Bring your ribbon over, your other side of your ribbon over. Smooth it down with your stick so that it will stick to the page. Make sure it goes to the center point. It's not crooked. And I need a little wipe here. My fingers are getting sticky. And then I'm going to again put a little more glue onto the paper. And I'm going to put the glue or the cover on top of all of this. And remember, this is the folded point, the point that has no opening. And I'm going to cover my book page and make sure that the book page is covering the whole cover. These are the page square and the book cover are exactly the same size. So now it should look something like this. Next step, final step, is to add our beads to the book to close and open it. So we're going to take our ribbon, one end of our ribbon, and we're going to kind of pinch it together and we're going to slide one of the pony beads with the, the, into the uh, ribbon into the pony bead, not going too far down. We're going to do the same thing on the other ribbon, pinch it and push it into the hole of the pony bead, making sure that the ribbon is not twisted in any way. And this will be a little harder because it's a little thicker and it's hard to see. But we have our, now I can see oh, there my ribbons are straight. So what I'm going to do is slide that pony bead to the top of the book. And you can stop there with one pony bead, or you can add a second pony bead if you'd like. There are two in your kit just in case one gets lost or dropped on the floor because they are a little harder to see. I'm going to put the second one on. 
pinching the ends, pushing the ends through the hole in the pony bead. And there we go. Pull it out. It will go through. It's a little trickier. There we go. Come on. Okay, I can see that I didn't pinch it well. Let's start again. There we go. So I've got two pony beads, and I want to make sure that I'm not, I don't have the ribbons twisted, which I do. Straighten out the ribbons. And you can push the second pony bead down to where the first one is. And this is the closure of your book. Now to keep your pony beads on, you'll need to make a knot at the top of the ribbons as close to the end as you can get, like so. And you can keep one bead at the bottom, one at the top. You have a little hole. You can hang your book from a little, uh, any place that you want to do that. You want to hang it from the ceiling or whatever. You can hang it up or you can push your pony bead down. Now, how do you open this book? You push the pony beads up to the knot you made, pull the ribbons open and carefully slide the ribbon down and open your book like so. You'll have your book like this. Close the edge pieces like so. Slide your pony bead down and I can see that some of my pages stuck together <laughs> that shouldn't. <laughs> All right, there we go. It's, the glue is pretty fresh on here, so it's not totally dry, but this is what your book will look like. And I have some other samples with me somewhere. Here we go. Here's a sample of a, a book that I made earlier. And again, closing, opening, pull the book open like so. And pull the pony bead down. This is a larger size book. It's bigger for writing space. And you have your book like so. And here's another one with color paper in it. And it's a little bit smaller ribbon. So again, like the other one, you have to carefully open it. And make sure your book ends are pointed in the same direction. And close your book. And this is your Lotus Ornament Book. So this is what it will look like if you lay it flat. All right, and it's not being cooperative because it's still fresh glue. <laughs> so anyway, this is what you're doing with that the kit. And I hope that this video has helped you get an idea of how to make your Lotus book. Thank you.